Hello, my name is Darlene and welcome to A Peek Inside My Journey. This is my journey of trying to finally learn to have a healthier relationship with food and learn to lose weight in a way that's sustainable and keep it off to, you know, keep as healthy as I can to enjoy everything that is absolutely amazing in my life. Long story short, you know, probably when I was about 10, 11 years old, I started to get a little chubby and all of that, and then puberty and everything, and I was always the tallest, biggest one in the class. I could get clothes, I could get them, like, at the store and all of that, but it was always, like, the biggest size that they had, but I was okay with it. And then I got to college, and that's really where the whole dieting started with friends and all of that and we would do crazy diets and do all of this and that and there was a lot of crazy ones but I did get to the lowest point. I saw a picture of myself one time in a photo album and I'm like is that your cousin and they're like that's you and I'm like because I didn't have a lot of pictures like we didn't have cell phones and all that and I'm like holy crap I didn't even recognize myself but I just remembered like how little I would eat and how much work it was. It felt good but it wasn't sustainable. Then I got married and had children and that's really when the vicious cycle started because when you, depression, anxiety, emotional eater, food addiction, all of those different things, you pack the weight on and then it's like, oh, I'm getting too big, I wanna you know, buy smaller clothes and all of this and that's when you start counting calories, um, you know, having an unhealthy relationship with food, restricting yourself, watching your, carbs or fat or whatever the fad was at that time and you'd, you'd drop the weight and you'd be happy and excited but it was never sustainable because you were just not eating things that you enjoyed or it was something that you just couldn't do long term or something would happen you'd have like a bad day and it's like oh you know and then you just got back into the old ways you'd pack the 20 pounds back on that you lost plus another 5, 10 and then that was just the vicious cycle however many times that you did it I'm glad that I did that all of these years because if I wouldn't have I'd probably be over 400 pounds and you know I knew that things needed to change so it was actually in the year 2020 and you know my husband was retired from the military then um, he was home all the time the kids were getting older I just found like being that homemaker stay-at-home mom and all of that like my role was changing and I was doing YouTube and all of that and I knew that that was really when I wanted to start my journey. I knew that I needed to, you know, make some changes and all that. My health was gonna was deteriorating and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start focusing on this journey as a woman. What happens, you know, as you get older and homemaking and all of that changes. And then, boom, the pandemic happened. And that just turned everything in the world upside down. But most importantly in my life, um, you know, having children and then, you know, having a parent that you you saw what was happening and you realized that it was dementia and all that kind of stuff and you know having two children one child was away at school and then our other child um with autism you know not having the school system for you know a little while and you know it was trying to be like uh you know a teacher like you know a homeschooling mom trying to maneuver everything for my mother and you know she was taking the wrong medications and doing this and that and trying to you know doctor's appointments and all this during the pandemic and everything it was just it was a vicious cycle and I didn't give a crap about what I ate I was stressed I was depressed I was scared I was everything and I needed to get through to the day get through the day where everything just needed to be taken care of and that did everybody's doing absolutely amazing and I just kind of kept doing what I was doing and I felt very like what am I doing like everything in life is really great and all this stuff but I don't feel good about myself and I knew that I needed to lose the weight and that is when I said you know I need to let go of the diet culture I need to learn how to have a healthy relationship with food how do I do that and it was a lot of you know thinking back you know oh if I if I do low carb is keto the way to do it is Weight Watchers is weight loss surgery is the new like medication that you know you lose weight and all of that like what do I do what do I do and I thought about it and I know that if you have weight loss surgery if you do this and you do that it's not the easy way out it will help you drop weight but you have to put the hard work in to maintain it because if you don't you'll gain everything back and it's that vicious cycle so I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and I'm like okay I'm I need to start shopping differently I need to be aware of what I'm bringing into the house 
what are my triggers what do i eat that makes me feel better what keeps my energy going and slowly working on that and then i just said okay you know i was still trying to do youtube and all that it wasn't working out and all that kind of stuff and that's why there wasn't as many videos because i really didn't have anything to share i didn't feel like i had anything like motivating or exciting or anything to share with you everything in life was great but this little youtube part was like oh you know what's going on and then it happened tried on my clothes for the spring and I stood in front of the mirror and I looked at myself and then I turned sideways and I looked and I saw and I looked and I stood there and I looked and I looked at myself in disgust, in embarrassment, in shame, all of those things and I'm like, well, this is what I have to do. And that's when I'm like, you know, is this the time that I call and get the weight loss surgery and do all of that? And I just gave myself a little bit of time. And then I started to do what I did before. And I just wrote this down for myself. April 2024, you have to start somewhere. Keep it simple. Don't overthink it and prioritize protein. And that's what I went back to and I said, you know, what were the things that I did that I felt really good? What are the things that I have learned? What were my triggers? What are the tools that helped me? And that is my starting point. This is the starting point of my journey and we are going to start off with what I eat in a day video for my starting point and we will just kind of go from there on this journey. No surprise, coffee. I'm trying to work on like reducing sugar and all that. So I went back to the zero sugar creamer. Is it the best thing? Probably not, but it's working right now. And it's in my favorite mug from a sweet subscriber that sent it to me when I used to have a P.O. box. Coffee. <laughs> Over the years, my husband and I have had lots of different coffee makers and the Keurig is... It's our vice. It is the one thing that we really enjoy and we love Sumatra. I have a 10 ounce Sumatra with a little bit of cream and that's what I'm working on right now. I know sugar is one of those things I'm trying to work on too, but I'm not trying to work on too much at once. Right now I'm just trying to establish like a, a good eating habit and I'm trying to like have less sugar. Other stuff, but I'm just, I'm taking a slow and steady wins the race. So anyways, um, coffee, it's one of the first 10 things I do in the day and it's just something that happened over the years. My husband and I love coffee and I just can't think of a like a better way to sit down, open up your phone. I always we always check the news, see what's going on in the world and all of that. And then the three of us and the two dogs, you know, what's going on today, this and that, and blah blah blah. And I don't know if that will ever change because it's one of those things that I don't take for granted having coffee with my husband in the morning because there was lots of days and mornings that we didn't have it together where he was in a different part of the country, a different part of the world, and it was there was a lot of lonely mornings just having coffee. Just the dogs and I some mornings, you know what I mean? And I it's a part of my day, it's who we are. And um I love it. It's just my favorite it's one of my favorite parts of the day other than my son's smile and the dogs big stretch you know it's just part of my day that brings me joy that this this is everything that we've worked for all of these years that yeah life is pretty good so once everything gets going and all that kind of stuff we everybody does their own thing and then I head to the desk in our daughter's room and now it's like my vanity desk I don't know whatever so I start getting ready for the day and all of that I do like a game plan brain dump trying to come up with like what's going on today what are my priorities what needs to be taken care of and then kind of go from there and usually that's when I watch YouTube and you know the past couple of months I just haven't like had the motivation or you know the homemaking stuff just wasn't bringing me all the stuff it used to like I've been I just don't find that that brings me the fulfillment and you know purpose and all of that in life and that's really you know in the past couple of like weeks where I needed some other motivation so I'm gonna link two tiktokers down below um Tanya um taking my life back at 42 I think I kind of stumbled across her last year whenever I was like trying to figure out like what do I need to do um I think she was over 400 and some pounds she had the weight loss surgery she really shared like just because you have weight loss surgery doesn't mean the weight is going to stay off. It's a tool, but you got to put the hard work. You have to learn how to eat right. You have to learn, you know, what you need to each eat each day, how much fluids, you know, protein, vitamins, all that kind of stuff. And I found her very motivating, but then there was a couple of other channels that I watched and it was, that's what it was happening. It was getting to the point where, 
you know, they're sharing their story, but they're also, you know, losing weight and they use products and companies reach out to them and there's nothing wrong with that. That's the excitement. That's sharing your whole journey. So it was like syrups and proteins. And I think the thing that really lost me was there was, there was these puddings or something that came out and I was like, I'm done. Like, is this something that you're going to be using like a year from now? Like, that's not just like this new product that was sent to you and, you know, getting a little bit of kickback. It's great. You know, you can share this. You do all of that. I don't fault anybody for it, but there's a time and a place where I just, yeah, I'm, I've had enough of it. So I'm just like, you know what? Here we go again. It's the products and buying all this fancy stuff. And I kind of lost interest. But then the past couple of weeks, I needed to see her journey again. And when I checked back in, she had just had, um, um, skin removal surgery and she's sharing all of that and I found it was like you know what this is what she's doing her story about when she has a bad day getting back on track and then I was trying to find another channel and then I came across this this young woman Jenna bariatric bestie I really like her she's only 25 years old she lost some weight on her own then she had the weight loss surgery she's the pediatric she's a pediatric nurse and you know there's videos that just hit me and there was one from a while ago where she talked about like counting calories and how restrictive it was and I'm like uh-huh and she just talked about that whole diet culture and everything and I'm like yeah here's a woman that's my age that has had the weight loss surgery had the skin removal surgery here's a woman that's half my age that's trying to do something so she doesn't do this for the next 25 years it gave me the motivation and everything that I kind of needed and then the old habit of wanting to go back on the scale kind of made me want to weigh in and I'm like no 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 so I went to my closet, I got out the capris that I bought I think two years ago on the clearance section at Maurice's and I bought, I remember last year trying them on and I'm like, I'm going to fit into these by the end of the summer. I didn't. I tried them on this morning. I got them up between my hips and my waist and they're a size smaller than what I wear right now. That is my goal. That's my first goal is to get those capris over my butt and get them pulled up and buttoned. That is my first goal however long it takes i gotta focus and my body's gonna change the scale is gonna say something but those pants are gonna tell me my progress and that's really what i'm trying to do so um you know this was two weeks ago that i really kind of started this plan and everything again so you know coffee and then once i get ready for the day and everything i head back to the kitchen and that's really where i kind of start to you know what am i gonna start my day off with I have been doing this on and off for years, but when I have a protein coffee, I usually have a lot more successful day. And I have my Bubba here, I absolutely love it. I use my black one for coffee, I have a scoop of ice, and I'm using this Premier Protein with 30 grams. And this is a new flavor here in Canada, I got it at Costco. And it is the Cafe Latte, it has caffeine in it, and I like this a lot better than like the caramel and the vanilla. So I put the whole container in because I really want to focus on the 30 grams of protein. I used the unsweetened, unsweetened Stoke Cold Brew. I bought it at Costco. It's on sale for $8.99 for two containers. I bought four of them last week when I was there. And the last time I was at Walmart, I took this video to share it with you. These are the Bubba's, $17.97. This is in Canada. They're 24 ounces. This pink and purple are new colors. I really like this purple. It's pretty. They do have the black one here too. Um, so I, this one they've had for a while, but I do have another pink and purple one. They're not as nice as these, but I'm not buying anymore. But I just want to share that with you. I know the Stanley ones are really popular, but you can get some nice ones here for under $20. I've bought a couple at Winners. I wasn't happy with them. I know there's lots on Amazon, but I just wanted to give you my feedback. Contigo is a pretty good brand too. They're a little bit more expensive, but I would definitely recommend the Bubba. I, I bought three of them and I'm happy with all of them. So there is the Premier Protein. Now I'm just going to top it up with the cold brew. And this is also, you know, keeping my fluids, having something in my stomach and all of that. And then the 30 grams of protein is going to help to keep me feel full and satisfied and just starting off with the right point you know, the protein, low sugar, and I'm going to be gone all morning. And I decided to grab a mini protein bar. These little cliff ones, I really like them. They're 10 grams of protein, 140 calories. I get them at Walmart. They're two boxes for 25. They're not the cheapest thing, but I don't eat these every day. But I find that they do help me also when I'm feeling a little hungry. Protein, that is the best way for me to start my day. Um, that protein coffee works really well for me. 
I love my Baba. I just got it at Walmart. I've tried so many different cups and that is the one that works for me. If you want to check it out, I would recommend it. Um, purchased it with my own money, less than $20. I love it. The black one is the one that I use for coffee. I find that this sets me up for success in the cafe latte ones I love. But the Premier Protein, I don't like drinking them on their own. I find they have like a chalky aftertaste, but when they're mixed with coffee, they're really good. And I do have um, the Vanilla Fair Life. Those are harder to get, so I save those for the mornings where I don't have the protein coffee or I don't really want it. I, just, I need to have something protein. So I will grab a Fair Life and drink that, or I will grab a protein bar. That's usually the three things that I've been grabbing. And some mornings I don't take anything and on this particular day I almost forgot my coffee and the little cliff bar that is what I've been using lately so it's been two weeks with this and I'm really noticing that this coffee protein setting me up for success it's not holding me over until lunch and I'm getting hungry so there's a couple of different things um, one day I, I bought I got the egg bites from Starbucks they were too much it was too filling kind of like threw me off for lunch because I wasn't really hungry and all of that. So other than the Cliff Bars, I'm still trying to play around with something else. Um, one morning I was at home and I had two fried eggs and it worked really well. So I think every day is kind of different, but always starting off with protein is what helps to set me up for success. And that's what I had, protein coffee. I always like it. And that little Cliff Bar really kept me satisfied until it was time for lunch. I had some salads I got at Costco and I didn't have any chicken strips so I went to the store to get some and then I saw these creamy dill chicken breast bites. So I'm just quickly looking at what the portion is. I'm not really looking at the calories. I'm looking at three pieces, you know, how many grams of protein is it and then I'm kind of looking to see what the salad is. So I'm taking a little look at here and I decided to put five of them in the air fryer so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make the salad. Now food prep and, you know, dinners and all that is something you will continue to see. But today I'm just kind of focusing on what I'm doing. And these salad kits are a great start for me. Um, I find they're really filling because they have a lot of crunchy vegetables in here. I find like just plain lettuce isn't satisfying for me. I like the different flavors that they have, especially the dill. And I like the warmth of the chicken, the crispiness of it. And I just find it's really filling and satisfying. It also feels like it's a little bit of like a fast food meal with the crunchy chicken and then the salad. I do find this works really well for me. And then I'm adding all the different toppings um, for this. Obviously, I'm not going to eat the whole salad. So I decided to go ahead and look at the kind of the serving size again. That's really what I'm trying to do is look at the serving size. Like, so if I go to take something, how many is a serving? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? And go from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out. I have a Pyrex container, so I'm going to put a cup and a half in that. And then this will be my lunch again for tomorrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bowl for my lunch today. And this is also a little bit of food prep. Um, I'm going to be getting more organized and all of that, but um, I'm just, there's a lot going on and I need to make sure I have something good to eat. So once I looked at the chicken, I'm like five seems like a lot. So I took three and then I'm just going to cut them up with my scissors. There's Hunter. I also filled my Bubba to start drinking it again. And I'm starting to feel hungry. And this is one of the things too, is this takes time. Um, you know, as I'm prepping the salad, as the chicken is cooking, I'm really starting to get hungry and I'm not grabbing anything. Like this is really learning how to, you know, prep and do all of that. So I decided to go with the four chicken. I think that would work good. And then I sprinkled a little bit of this dill seasoning from the chicken. I wouldn't put this on again. So here's the finished product, four of the chicken bites. And then the salad, I'm really looking forward to this with my baba. And then I still have one little chicken over here. And I'm just going to kind of leave it and see how it is. So I sit down, I take my time. There's no hurry. And this is what's left. I ate all of the chicken. And when I came back, I was going to automatically grab this. And I'm like, I'm not hungry. Why would I grab this? So this was really filling. I enjoyed it. I like the crunchiness of the salad and the warmth of the chicken. This is one of like my go-to meal. So I'm unfortunately going to have to waste this, but I think it's the right thing to do. And I'm going to keep drinking my water. Lunch was good. I tried that new product. I was trying to figure out like how much to eat and everything. Fill up the purple bubba. That's when I start my water. Um, I'm trying to drink more water. I was, I've been really bad at it. As a pop drinker, I probably drank two to three pops a day. Diet ginger ale is my vice. And diet, I drink more. Regular pop, I would drink one. But the diet, I felt like, oh, it's zero calories and this and that. 
and just in the four days um i feel a difference i don't feel so bloated and i wasn't going i wasn't like peeing that much when i was drinking the pop at the water I am going to the bathroom all the time and everything now so that already tells me like I'm feeling changes in my body just from four days of you know stop and pop and drinking water is it gonna continue I don't know we're just gonna take this one day at a time but lunch was really good um, the salad I find the salads are something I cannot eat every day so the other day I had like cottage cheese and cucumbers like that protein and then something like raw I find it's very filling and satisfied and it kind of like with all of like the cabbage and cucumbers or like all of that stuff mixed with the proteins a really good combination because you know um, that's my lunch I try and focus on lower carb I find like if I just ate something that was very high in carbs and not very nutritious i'm starving by the afternoon and my energy zapped and all of this like this day i was feeling good all day like it was a really good balance and you know that's all that i try and do i i'm definitely going to be getting back into food prepping and all that kind of stuff like having grilled chicken and different things on the barbecue and whatever's in season and all of that but right now this the salad kits help me like having them here and there but I can't eat them every day like I need a variety and those chicken they're just kind of nice I saw the dill ones I'm like oh those would go really good with my salad nobody else will like them so I'm just trying to figure out like I think three would have been enough with the salad I think it would have kept me satisfied and then drinking my bubba sometimes I'll have a yogurt or something else but on this particular day my salad kept me really satisfied and then drinking the bubba so then the next thing I try and do is keep working on my fluids and then the next thing is my three to four time of the day that always is my killer point that is when I need to be focused. That is why it's really important what I have for lunch, having protein, having something that keeps me full and satisfied because it's, it's satis I don't have the cravings. Um, if I get emotional or something like that, I grab the bubba and I drink my water and I'm like, ooh, I feel bloated because I got so much water in me. And this is going on two weeks that I've been doing this. So for three to four, um, that's been my weakness. I, you know, if I, if I don't think about it, I'll grab a handful of this. I'll get that. Um, you know, sometimes I'll grab a Starbucks, um, you know, like the sugary, syrupy drinks and all of that. You know, trying to have them here and there, not as much as they used to and everything. And I just find that that's one of those times where I can grab three, four, five hundred calories depending on what I'm doing. I'll grab a cheese stick. I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm not really hungry. It's just, I find that's my hard point of the day. It's always been like that. Three to four, I need that pick me up. Usually a coffee, I try and have that help me and I'm trying to like increase my protein. So I'm gonna be working a little bit more on that. So let's see how this day went from the three to four o'clock time. I wasn't very hungry, but I needed a little something something. So I went and got this box of Zavita coffee out. I got it at Walmart here in Canada. I had the advent calendar at Christmas time and really liked it. So I have my Harry Potter mug. I'm just doing eight ounces and I'm going to use the zero sugar French vanilla creamer again. And I just, I'm not a big lover of flavored coffee, but I do find this is just something that's kind of nice. Like I don't want like a big strong Starbucks coffee, but this is really good for flavored coffee. So I got this at Walmart in Canada. It's actually a pretty decent price for the amount of K-cups that were in this box coffee um and more water the coffee the calendar i had at christmas time i really really enjoyed it so that's kind of like my new little thing is having like a special coffee only for that time of the day and it really hit the spot i liked it um i was still feeling really full and satisfied from lunch and i was also looking forward to dinner and that's one of those things that I try and do too, is I try and have a game plan for dinner that it's something I'm really excited, I'm looking forward to. So in the mornings, I always want to make sure that I know what we're having for dinner because I feel like if I'm not looking forward to dinner, I just, I'm like, oh, you know. So that's why all of those times of salads and grilled chicken, that's not going to satisfy me. Like, I'm looking forward, you know, for dinner on this day, I knew that I was having... My husband was going to do burgers on the grill and I was really looking forward to it and that's why I decided only to have a little pick-me-up coffee and some more water before I enjoyed dinner. My husband wanted burgers so I actually grabbed these sirloin beef burgers today um, to do on the barbecue. I just thought it would be a quick easy dinner 
And our son loves hamburgers too, so that'll be really great. And on the weekend, my husband and I had big mac bowls. And on the other ground beef, I made tacos for our son. And I had some of the shredded lettuce left. I wanted to use that up. And I just thought it'd be really great. I have the pickles. Um, when I was at Costco, I bought this big bag of crispy fried onions. I like to put it on little things, so I'm going to use that. And I also picked up the G. Hughes um, Sugar-Free Thousand Island Dressing. Please let me know. Like, Do you think these are good? They're a little bit pricey, but I'm just going to give them a try and see if it's something that I really need to have. So I just went ahead and prepped everything. It's kind of a quick, easy dinner tonight. It's a little bit of odds and ends. So I have my lettuce. I measured out two tablespoons of the onions, two tablespoons of the dressing. I went ahead and cut up the pickles and I'm just kind of prepping everything because I'm going to have to cut up the hamburger for our son anyways. And then uh, my patty and then I'm drinking more water with my bubba. So here it is. You know, all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions, and there's Hunter supervising. It was really good. I preferred, like, doing the ground beef on its own than the burger, and I have to have something sweet after dinner, so I got these at Costco, Unreal. I'm trying to, like, have, like, better alternatives, so this, the serving size said three bars. Um, usually, like, my husband and my son will have two, but I just have one. I just find it's that nice little bit of sweetness to finish off my meal was amazing more water and that's one of the things that i'm learning to do is have a little something something that bag we've had for over a week and i'm not overindulging it i know i want to have something sweet after dinner so i have a couple of different options trying to figure it out and it's good for my family too everybody likes a little something something um a couple of weeks ago i had some puddings that I had and our son liked them and my husband some nights he would, sometimes he wouldn't. Sometimes he'll have a coffee after dinner and all of that, but that little coconut thing, it was all that I needed and dinner was delicious. Um, you know, some nights I'm gonna have a burger, some nights I'm gonna have fries and this and that, but on this particular night, I knew that I wanted to finish that lettuce up and have a Big Mac burger bowl. I love it, it's so good trying that sugar-free stuff. It's not too bad, we'll, we'll figure it out and everything, but that was it, and then drinking my water. I'm trying to stop drinking water by 6.30, so I'm not going to the bathroom all night, and this particular day, I didn't eat anything after, and I'm really trying to focus on that, but because I'm, I'm done eating by six o'clock, that's why I am needing something else in the morning. That protein coffee is not holding me over until lunch. So after two weeks of really kind of sticking to this game plan, I'm already seeing changes in my habits and all of that. So this is my game plan. Um, one night I had popcorn because there was a little bit left in the bag and I had it. I don't necessarily know if I was hungry, but I did enjoy it. And that's something I'm going to continue working through and all of that. And that's something I know that I'm never, not ever going to have a certain type of food. Like I'm going to have certain things and it's all trying to figure it out. And I think that's why it's really important. Like usually the night before I go to bed, I'm kind of like, I'll say to my husband, I'll be like, what do you want for lunch? Like, so on this particular day, the night before I said to my husband, what do you want for dinner? And he goes, burgers. I want burgers. I said, okay, we'll have burgers. And I'm like, how can I fit that in? I know my husband and my son like the buns and it works for them, but I'm like, do I want to have a bun? And then I'm thinking we had big Mac bowls. I have the lettuce and that's how I wanted to finish it off. So it was chef's kiss, absolutely delicious. And I'm just trying to figure it all out. So this is my starting point. And the other big motivation, I think about those two women, they just give me that pep talk in the morning, but my biggest motivation is just a woman, I see her walking her journey, and you know, I've, I've told you this before, but she's probably in like her early 70s, and I saw her, and I knew that she was having difficulty walking, and she had a cane, and I'm like, probably her hip, and then I remember seeing her, and she, I, it was in the winter time, and I was like, oh my god, she looks really good. And then we were somewhere because her coat stood out to me. And I said, excuse me, do you walk this certain thing every day? And she goes, yes, I do. And I said, well, I just wanted to let you know you look amazing. She goes, well, you just made my day. And I said, well, you look great. And she goes, it's a lot of hard work. And I said, I bet you it is. And I just said, well, keep, keep it up. You're doing really great. And 
then I hadn't seen her and then I saw her this spring and like was, our weather has been so wonky. There she was out walking one day with her husband, little pair of capris on and she looked so freaking good and she was walking amazing. So I don't know if she had hip surgery or anything like that. I don't know her story or her journey, but I betcha, you know, I could relate. She probably did a lot of what I did. So, you know, hearing the journey of a 25 year old and then seeing this other woman's journey just walking the streets is all the motivation that I need because I know that if things don't change, that's going to be me, you know, having a hard time walking and doing all of this and, you know, seeing somebody in their 20, in their mid 20s, hoping that they make the change, that they don't have to deal with all of this. That's the motivation for me. Um, it's not going to be an easy road. I'm putting it out there because I don't want to do it privately. Um, I've tried to do that. I find this is going to help keep me accountable. Um, you know, I've talked to a dietitian. I've talked to some different little things here and there, and there's always a plan. There's always different things that you can eat. It's still a lot of the mental part of it, but right now what I'm trying to focus on is how I'm feeling. My energy is doing really great, and those pants are motivating me, and sharing this journey is helping me and for the one person out there. Is there gonna be ups and downs at the end of this six months? Am I gonna have to, you know, do something drastic and really get like the real, you know, intervention and all that kind of stuff with some of the things I've been dealing with and tackling and talking to and all that the past couple of things. It's been a journey I've been kind of sharing privately and trying to do that and I just felt like this was my story and you know, this is gonna help me and just that one person that's watching. So that's why I'm doing this and sharing this. I feel like this is purpose, this is motivation. My life is really good. There's a lot of stuff that's keeping me busy and satisfied, but I felt like this little purpose of YouTube, this is what I feel like I need to do. Just keeping it real, raw. I'm not here to get it, be an influencer. I don't want your money. I don't want any of that. I know that's part of it. Maybe one day, I don't know, but it just doesn't feel right for me. And this is really the little part of me that has always been missing. And I think it was all those years of you you know, messaging me, getting cards and comments about, you know, things that you wanted to share with me and how, you know, you felt like a connection or something. And that's all I'm trying to do um, here. Everything in life is really good. And I want to be around. I want to grow old with my husband. I want to see my kids and do all of that. And I know that the weight has to come off and I got to figure out how to do it. So this is my journey.